Hi everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we are going to share something that will help you get ready for Thanksgiving dinner. Today we're gonna to be making this delicious compound basting butter that's gonna be perfect for basting your bird, slathering on your turkey before you throw it in the oven, or even making any number of your Thanksgiving sides. I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. Let's get started getting ready for Thanksgiving. This year we are focusing on budget-friendly Thanksgiving dinner. I'm gonna show you how to make several dishes that will easily feed at least eight people and will not be hard on your wallet. Uh, we have several Thanksgiving videos available on the channel already. I will leave links to playlists and you can just watch to your heart's content. Get your menu ready now. Get your grocery list ready now. Take the stress off yourself. Today, we're gonna be making a delicious basting butter, which is really like a compound butter. So we're gonna flavor some butter. We're going to roll it into a log, wrap it in some parchment, and you at that point have the opportunity to either make it early, toss it in the freezer, and bring it out when you're ready to roast your bird. This butter is gonna be great for slathering all over your turkey before you toss it in the oven. You can also use this when making your homemade stuffing. We're gonna be making a home, a semi-homemade stuffing that's gonna be super easy and super budget friendly. And you can use this butter to serve with your rolls for your Thanksgiving dinner. And I can't wait to get started. So what you're gonna need is, I right now I'm doing a half pound of softened butter. So this is two sticks or one full cup of softened butter. You can make as much or as little of this as you like but the amounts that I have given you today in this recipe are for one cup of butter and then all of these delicious seasonings. So this is going to have all the flavors that you'll want to roast a beautiful turkey or a chicken or even a pork roast. It's gonna be awesome. So what we have in the center is a tablespoon of my homemade poultry seasoning. I'll leave a link down below to that. And then we're gonna boost those flavors with some additional herbs and spices. Here I have a teaspoon of everything. So a tablespoon of poultry seasoning, a teaspoon of rub sage, a teaspoon of garlic powder, dried parsley, ground rosemary, thyme, dried thyme, onion powder, cracked black pepper, kosher salt. That's really simple. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my little mixer over and we're gonna whip this together and make a beautiful compound basting butter. So I have my butter in my little mixer bowl. When I said little mixer, this is what I meant. You guys, you haven't seen this in so long. I've had this in the top of my bedroom closet for years because once I got my professional KitchenAid, which took Peter, as many of you know, um, and then we got rid of that and we got the Bosch. But the Bosch is just too big for this. And I really have been enjoying having this on my kitchen counter. I love the Bosch for its its vast amount of uh, capabilities and its, its huge um, capacity. But I'm just making a little bit of butter and this is gonna work a lot better than a hand mixer. So that's what we're using today. This is just my regular KitchenAid Classic. This is the first mixer Rick ever bought me the first Christmas we were together and I will never get rid of it because it has a lot of sentimental value. I know it's a mixer, but still. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna kind of whip this butter uh, until it's nice and smooth. And it shouldn't take long because it's nice and soft. You definitely want to have your, your butter at room temperature for this process. And then what we're going to do, so it's nice and soft and well mixed together, so I'm just going to go ahead and add all of those beautiful herbs and spices in there. Give it a good turn. Using this mixer also makes very quick work of the process. It already smells like Thanksgiving in here. Mm -hmm. And that's all, you just have a few minutes and turn that in the mixer and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn this into a compound butter log. Okay, I went ahead and I scraped all of the compound butter out of the bowl onto a piece of parchment. I like to make mine into a log. You can certainly just plop this into a container and put a lid on it and it's gonna be good to go. You decide. But I like to do it in a log like this so I put it at one far end of the parchment and then we're just gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna fold it over and then I'm gonna take the flat side of a bowl scraper, but of course you can use anything with a flat edge. And then we're just gonna go ahead and give this a little bit of pressure. And we're going to 
make a nice even log. It doesn't have to be super long. And then we're just gonna continue to roll it up. And then you can take each end and give it a twist in the opposite direction. That's gonna firm it up on both ends. And then we can wrap this in some plastic wrap. So we're just gonna go ahead and wrap this in some plastic wrap. Fold the ends under, and then we're gonna put that in the fridge. This is something you can do now in preparation for Thanksgiving. You can pop this in a Ziploc bag in your freezer and have it ready. You don't have to think about it. Okay, our compound basting butter sat in the, I popped it in the freezer for about an hour just to let it set up so that I could show you what it looks like when it comes out. And I unwrapped it, I sliced it up, and this is how you would be using it. If you were gonna serve it as a spread for homemade dinner rolls, this is gonna be amazing and like I said before perfect for slathering on your bird before roasting perfect for adding to the sauteed vegetables that you're gonna put in your homemade stuffing or your semi homemade stuffing or dressing or whatever you like to call it it's gonna be great for adding to um, steamed or roasted vegetables Anything that you plan on using butter in that's a savory dish is going to be a perfect application for this compound basting butter. It's already got all the seasonings, herbs, and spices that you're going to want that will help all of your dishes come together and kind of tie together in a cohesive menu. Uh, leave a comment down below because I have a notion. Would you guys find it helpful if I made you a super simple Thanksgiving menu along with a shopping list because I know there are a lot of people this year who are going to be either cooking Thanksgiving dinner for the first time, they've never done it before, because we are limited in some places where uh, we're able to spend time with family. So let me know down below how you like that idea and maybe I'll get working on that really quick. So I hope you give this compound basing butter a try and I hope you love it and until next time, happy holidays. Thank you.